Joining us now is the Israeli ambassador to the United States, Michael Herzog. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, I want to get into something and some of the diplomacy that's ongoing overseas. Secretary of State Antony Blinken uh, has been traveling the region. In Riyadh, he said, as Israel pursues its legitimate right to defending its people, it's vitally important that all of us look out for civilians, and we're working together to do exactly that. Uh, what do you make of that statement from the secretary? First of all, uh, the U.S. administration has supported Israel's uh, right to strike back at the Hamas uh, after the massacre and having waged war against the state of Israel. At the same time, we understand the concerns about the humanitarian situation, uh, but uh, we are doing everything possible so that civilians will not be hurt. They are uh, in a war zone. They have become human shields. Uh, Hamas made them into human shields. Uh, we are calling them on, uh, to leave uh, the northern part of Gaza so that they will not be hurt. Hamas is trying to force them to stay so that they can use them as human shields, and that's where we are. We are in the process of preparing what we call safe zones in the southern part of Gaza for all those who evacuate their homes. Uh, we are working very closely with the UN to create these safe zones, and uh, when they are in the safe zone, we'll make sure that they get all the um, vital supplies they need, water, uh, medical support, and, uh, and, and food. Uh, but we are in a war, and we have to fight and win that war, and we are not going to stop until we destroy the Hamas war machine that waged war on us. We do not want to be in a situation we have to, uh, where we have to fight a war every few years. We will not allow them to threaten us any longer. Mr. Ambassador, can you characterize how much the U.S. has been advising Israel on the timing of this ground operation? Because we know that um, there's a lot of reporting that the administration expressed some anxiety about the, the 24 hour timeline. Uh, both Blinken and the, the Secretary of Defense, in their, their comments, emphasized the um, ongoing efforts to secure safe passage for civilians in Gaza and also the moral high ground that Israel has in, you know, de defending itself from future attacks um, via legitimate efforts versus what the, you know, Hamas terrorists did to, to the Israelis, but that the, the careful way in which that must be done. Can you explain to us exactly how much the, the Biden administration has been advising you on the timing of when to begin the ground operation? So the U.S. administration did not put a time limit. Uh, that's not our discussion. They understand that uh, a war was waged on us and we have to win it. And that takes time. I think they understand it. So our discussion is, uh, first of all, on, on means they can support us in many ways, and they have been supportive, including in the replenishment of uh, certain uh, munitions that we need in other uh, ways. And also in finding practical solutions to humanitarian problems on the ground. It's, a, it's an ongoing discussion. And we don't need the encouragement because we ourselves comply with international law and we work. It's our initiative to work with the UN to provide these solutions. And I think the US administration has done that and realizes that. As ambassador to the United States and, and seeing what's going on in the United States, what have you made of the administration and the support that you've gotten here domestically, um, but also the criticism and also the protests against Israel in the United States? I think this is a defining moment and it requires more clarity. We've all seen uh, what Hamas did. The, uh, the war they waged on us, the massacre of over 1,300 uh, Israelis were butchered on the first day. We have thousands in our hospitals. We have uh, dozens of uh, kidnapped hostages in the hands of Hamas, which is a war crime. I think this requires more clarity. It's, uh, this is no time for equivocation. Uh, I, I will say that until now, we, <clears throat> we enjoyed strong support by the administration, Congress, bipartisanly and from the American people. But I understand that the more uh, we push against Hamas to destroy them, 
the more uh, criticism there will be an attempt at uh, moral equivalent, which is totally misguided. There's no moral equivalence uh, here. We know exactly who the bad guys are, what they've, we've seen the photos, we heard the voices. Uh, this is a terrible war waged on us, and I think people have to realize what is at stake, who is the enemy. Mm -hmm. Hamas is a U.S.-designated terror organization closely linked to Iran. They're part of the same coalition. Yeah. Those for the destruction of Israel, yeah. an yeah. enemy of Western civilization, yeah. enemy of uh, the moderate forces in the Middle East, an enemy of peace in the Middle East. Uh, That's Mr. Ambassador, it. I'm sorry, we got to get going. Um, uh, thank you very much for your time this afternoon, Michael Herzog, uh, the Israeli ambassador to the United States. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.